Welcome to Embed Resources into your app file. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, we'd be 25 point something. Let's figure that out in a second. We now have the option of embedding data, any, any kind of data, directly into our app files. There's a bunch of restrictions and stuff like that, but now we don't have to do like, I sometimes, you know, offload data sitting on, on a on GitHub or a web server. So when an app starts, first it needs to populate some demo data or some setup data or what it what it might be. And then the solution up on up till this point in time has been to either have the app download the data or perhaps, you know, some somehow give your customers like a config package or whatever it might be those days are gone if your customers on bc25 at least because now uh, you can actually embed data directly into the app files um so let's try that and i have as usually just started a fresh uh app here and um Let's figure out how to do this. The first thing we actually need to do is go into the app file. And uh, it's quite fun. I I, um, I had to work on uh, an, an old app, no, an old app back from the BC 15 times. And, and you know, the app that JSON files slowly grows in size, grows uh, grow in size. So it's uh, it's interesting. Anyway, what we can do here now is that there is a new option that's called resource folders, and this is an array. So we can we can tell that we have we have data one, we have data two. Now that is an error because those folders does not exist. So let's create them. A uh, new folder, data data one, and data two. Uh, maybe it's happy. If I build, it's kind of happy. Oh, there we go. It figured it out. Um, and we actually, this is specified as 14.0. So let's see if we need to specify something else because this was not part of 25.0, which is 14. Remember, uh, to get from the BC version to the AL version, you have either to add 11 or subtract 11. Uh, so bc25 subtract 11 you get 14 that's the al version uh, al version uh, 10 add 11 that's bc21 simple math um, anyway so now we have specified two folders uh, meaning that anything that's in this folder so let me let's just do this simple right so data txt. This is data. Lots of data. All right here, here, here's clearly a file. So if I built this, uh, and then I take the app file and I say open externally, and I have. Uh, this might be hard to see. Let's see if we can get through it anyway. Uh, so I have, you, you know, an app file is is a zip file with some extra stuff added to it. But um, at, at the core of it, it's still a zip file. So you can see that now in the app file, there's a new folder called resources, and there's the data txt. Uh, so I guess the naughty thing to to try out is to add a data txt in the other folder also. 
data txt this is something else not data at all now we have two files that are named the same but in different folders we compile arrow there are multiple resources with the name data so the folders doesn't matter uh, at least not to, to separate whether something is one file or the other file uh, uh, the name has to be unique across the folders I believe we can also create subfolders so if we create a subfolder here sub sub one and then we add let's just change the name of this one to data two and copy that into sub one and call it data three uh, and do this is the third file compile this we can we compiled uh, open externally resources so data one and data two are sitting in the root folder here even though those are separate folders but sub one is still a folder here So that begs the question can i actually call this one for data i can so uh, okay compile let's open externally again oops not resources data so it seems that the, the 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 root folder here is is not a true folder uh, so it begs the question why we can actually specify more than one yeah, okay okay Let, let's roll with this okay so now we have resources in our app file so how do we access them um i think what we can do here is that we can let's change the message i think there is a system dot system dot uh, no it's in nav app sorry it's in nav app dot something with resource right resource get resource get resource as json get resource as text so this is really nice actually get resource as json one of the kind of annoying thing with the with the http client for instance is that quite often you know you're getting https but you have to go through all the hoops and and convert it into a uh, sorry you know you're getting json through the http client but you can't really say okay just give me the, the content as json uh, you have to go through the hoops and, uh, and 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 convert it um which takes up unnecessary resources microsoft could do this much more efficient in 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 c sharp than we can do in al uh, so so it's nice to see that that we get something like this anyway list resources so what is list resources oh ah list resources is not available in runtime version 14.0 oh, the supported runtime versions are 14.1 aka 25.1 so we have to go back here and up this one a bit um i'm running against a 25.2 docker so this should be fine so what does list resources it returns a list how about that using the new data types that's nice oh that car opened here that didn't really do anything 
particularly useful. Um, let's uh, let's change this up a bit and say. Um, resource that's the txt and then we can go something like that like for each resource in nav app list resources do resource so now we message every everyone so let's uh let, let's try that you will get data txt sub one slash look notice by the way the forward slash uh sub one data txt data two txt that's it so uh, so we get the three um so what we can do with this is actually pretty uh, we actually also already saw the uh the functions so we can do nav app resource so we can we can do get resource as JSON, get resource as text. I guess that's the uh, that what that would be the easy one for, for what we're doing here. So nav app, I think we can actually just get resource. No, we can't. Nav app, uh, get resource as text. Parameters are the resource name. That's what we got, and we can specify an encoding if we want two oh <laughs> well, welcome to the ever uh, changing goalposts here get resource as text is not available in runtime 14.1 the supported runtime versions are 14.2 now huh. now we know the drill This is where stuff like this gets really dicey. Uh, then, when can you find if you're doing the PTE? Uh, but with the new rules for for updating and and waiting with updates and so on, in reality, from an app source perspective, when um can I use this? I can use this when 26 comes around ish uh, because otherwise I have to leave a version static uh, for older nav versions that that gets complicated anyway let's see if this works this is data lots of data this is the third file this some um, so there you go um now now we just did text and text are a kind of not that interesting in some cases it could be because depending let's say it's like it was a json or an xml or stuff like that uh text files can be fairly big now but we also have the nav app get resource uh, and this one is more interesting because we can do resource and then we can specify a stream. Be aware that, uh, that there are some, if you look at the code Microsoft published on, on learn, there are some mistakes uh, in the code. So when they, they try to use get resource, uh, some box, that will be fixed. Um, so in this case, get resource, and then we can specify a stream. So if we create an in stream, uh, of course, we need somewhere to actually, because an in stream is just a, a pipe, uh, a connection. So it needs to be connected to something. Uh, so temp blob, and then we can do a, uh, whoa temp blob dot create in stream no sorry i am okay one of the like i don't know many years ago one of the first video i did on the on the channel is is one called in out 
uh, read write confusing directions um, so in this case we get an in stream so we can read so this is this in stream is oops i deleted the wrong line this in stream is connected to the resource and we can read from it so so now we have the option of we could we could simulate what we we are doing up here by uh, by data text and then we can say in stream read into data and then we can do message data because the in stream is connected to resource so if i run this thing and for some reason it kept opening on the wrong screen here today we get the lots of data maybe can i click on it there's third file something else boom um and because you now have a stream this can this will support a binary files also um so you can bond but there i the one thing i want to mention uh that there are some there are some restrictions i'm just trying to look at a different screen here uh there are some restrictions which are important to understand these guys limit on resources maximum size of any single resource file 16 megabytes maximum size of the total of all resource files 256 megabytes maximum number of resource files in an extension 256 files these are as far as i understand the arbitrary numbers microsoft uh, put down i don't think they uh, they really want people to store gigabytes of data in in apps that could be interesting does that account against uh, the storage or is that sitting somewhere else so that could be free storage um but that would be a lot of extensions because you can only put quarter of a of a gigabyte in an app but I, I think this is fine for most cases this is this is more than we need uh, but there are limitations so beware of that anyway that's resources and app files uh, something I've been waiting for for a long time um, it, it's kind of if this was all in 25.0 duk 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 worked in 25.0 it's easier to adopt but the fact that it's droplets 25.0 is nothing and a bit and then 25.1 and 25.2 uh that makes it complicated if 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 you have app source as a target uh pts is, it's less of a problem because you you know what version your customer have uh uh but on app source it it kind of means that hey it takes a while before i can actually use this but the day when it comes that i can use it i will totally use it because it's nice anyway um thanks for watching and uh wow check out this video as some clever ale hacking in here i promise so go check it out i'll see you there take care